So a lot of Giants fans were like, oh, that means the Lions are going to take Isaiah Simmons now. No, it's just because they signed a 28-year-old uh, cornerback who was on the decline of his career and they traded away their best cornerback. You really think that they're going to be like, oh, yeah, let's take Isaiah Simmons and let's ignore the you know, best cornerback in this draft. No, they're going to take that probably. What are, you, are you guys kidding me? Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of b a Sports Talk. So today I want to talk about some Giants topics, but before we get into that, I know the whole Corona thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Just try to switch into like a positive thing. I know you can sulk, but do the things you've never done before. Uh, let, let's try to turn this into positive. Let's just have some fun. Let's do things that you've never done before. Like, like the video and subscribe to this channel. Um, yeah, that was, that was weird, but let's just get into the topic of the video. Let's start off with laughing at Dwayne Haskins because apparently a lot of wide receivers don't want to play for him and uh, that's going to be a concern going into the future that's a big red flag because if wide receivers think that what do you think coaches think what do you think Juan Rivera thinks so that's troubling for him down the future I said yesterday bring in Jameis one year 10 million dollars a year you can have a revitalization project maybe even two years and then trade him next year for like some pieces or whatever because you realize oh uh, James Winston's a good piece there's only good that can come out of it I don't think he's gonna ruin the locker room I think Ron Rivera would button him up a little bit it seemed like Bruce Arians did that a little bit last year just bring him in as a backup you don't want Alex Smith who barely has uh, two legs at this point to be him backing him up you don't want to do that so let's get into the actual topic of the video. I'm going to discuss my feel for the Giants, what they're doing. So a lot of Giants fans are like, oh, that means the Lions are going to take Isaiah Simmons now. No, if anything, Darius Slay is out and they're going to draft Jeff Okuda. I think it's obvious. That's I listened to a Locked On Lions podcast and that's what the guy said. He has a feel for the Lions organization. That's what he says they're going to do. So I'm going to take him at his word. He wants Isaiah Simmons, but you're telling me because just because they signed a 28 uh, year old cornerback who was on the decline of his career and they trade away their best cornerback. You really think that they're gonna be like, oh yeah, let's take Isaiah Simmons and let's ignore the you know best cornerback in this draft that's you know once in a five year prospect. No, they're gonna take that product. What are you guys, are you guys kidding me? Uh, I don't understand people's take like this. The Giants are gonna have the option between Isaiah Simmons and a left tackle. I'm gonna have more videos uh, with different scenarios, us trading up, us trading back with teams like the Panthers and things like that. And yeah, I think it should be fun, but I think we're taking Isaiah Simmons. If you think about it, take a look at our roster. It, I think he can be incorporated in a little bit of outside linebacker. Uh, I think he, I think he's built for that a little bit too. Uh, I really do like a stand-up edge guy. The more I look at him, the more I think that. But um, as far as this roster, we made upgrades. I think James Bradbury is an upgrade. I think Alec, Alec Ogletree is gone, so now Blake Martinez is an upgrade over him. And you take a look at it, guys on this roster are one year older. You have, you know, Dexter Lawrence. You have Julian Love, B uh, Baker. Are these guys are going to be put in positions to succeed. I think Will Hernandez needs to button it up. People are like, oh, Will Hernandez, he just, he had a little bit off. No, he was, he was absolutely awful last year. His intensity was bad. His form was awful. I don't know what happened to him last year. He better button it up. But we have Saquon Barkley coming back healthy. We have Ryan Connolly coming back healthy. And plus, you're adding another layer to the base of this cake, uh, for lack of a better term, I guess. Now, if you have another good draft, Isaiah Simmons, a left tackle, whoever you draft, you get some wide receiver depth, you get you know some interior offensive linemen, we're set. You know, people are like, oh, we didn't get this guy, that guy. We couldn't get everybody in the league. We did good enough for free agency. They signed them to short deals. We can get out of them in two years, which, you know, frees up spots for uh, Daniel Jones, Sircon Barkley, and the rest of the good draft picks we made. So this is solid. I, I, like the, I like the way we're going. And, yeah, I think that you're going to be able to build a base with this draft. People forget we have, like, nine draft picks this year. We had ten last year. The only thing that we don't really have is a mid-first-round pick this year. Other than that, our draft is pretty much exactly similar to what it was last year. And, yeah, let's just see. It's going to be very interesting. But uh, the next topic I want to talk about is a potential tag-and-trade for Leonard Williams. Now, his it seems like all good positional value is, like, third and a fifth round pick you know Darius Slay Antonio Brown that's what the value is right now those guys we're going to sign around 16 million dollars in the offseason well that's what Darius Slay ended up signing we have Leonard Williams on a one-year 16 million dollar deal why not trade them why not? They're going to be a bunch of teams looking for him. The Cardinals, I thought, would be one. Then they up getting the guy from Buffalo. And they also signed somebody a couple hours ago. So they're good at the defensive tackle position. Also look at the Panthers. They're in a fire sale, but they got rid of their defensive tackle. Bringing a guy for a year. I mean, they're not really paying too many people right now. A bunch of people left. So 
Bring in Leonard Williams. Bring him in on the defensive line. Or maybe the Raiders, they, they address their linebacking uh, scenario. They're primed to pick a wide receiver. Address your defensive end, defensive tackle position. Play Leonard Williams up there. I'm not too sure if he's a scheme fit. But try it out. One year, $16 million. I, I wouldn't. I would do that if I were the, the Raiders. And there are a bunch of other teams as well. Maybe even the uh, the Buffalo Bills, who, by the way, just lost that player. You know, it's just they have Ed Oliver, I understand. But... They, they may look to bolster the defensive line, make it elite. Even the San Francisco 49ers, now they have a couple of cap problems, but there are going to be a bunch of teams looking for a Leonard Williams. Now I'll move on to what we could do with that. Jadavion Clowney, five years, $20 million a year. I don't think this is likely. I don't even think a Leonard Williams tag and trade is likely. Nevertheless, signing Jadavion Clowney after that, but Jadavion Clowney realizes market isn't that much. He'll take $20 million to play with the Giants. Plus you get Isaiah Simmons, and it's just like, whoa. Look at this defensive line now. It's an upgrade over Leonard Williams, I think. And you're only paying him $4 million. You have him for a little bit more long term. You got a third round pick back for the Leonard Williams trade. You know, and uh, Dave Gottman doesn't look like an idiot. And then also there's some cornerbacks that I could see us signing, like Jimmy Smith, maybe. You know, sign him to a prove-it deal. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. There's another one, another name for you. There are guys still available on the market. Pick and choose. It's like Halloween. You have $60 million more to spend. Or you could just keep it for in-season moves. A guy becomes available or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I think I think the Giants uh, trading Leonard Williams would be a good idea. You can bring in another guy on defensive line like Cameron Wake, who, by the way, had an 82, I think, PFF grade last year. I mean, he's probably on the downward trajectory of his career. But Cameron Wake, bring him in. He's not the greatest personality, but one-year prove-it deal. Do that. One year, $10 million deal frees up uh, net $6 million, and you have more money for in season moves or some more depth guys that you feel like you can bring in from the Patriots. It's a good thing that we're bringing in some Patriots guys. I was about to make a topic of the video like, where are these uh, Jamie Collins and Kyle Van Noyes coming to us? I mean, I understand Blake Martinez and the, uh, what's his name, Cockerell or whatever, but where are the Patriot guys? Seems like we bought in more Patriot guys, more Dallas guys, which is a good sign. People don't hate Joe Judge like they hate Dwayne Haskins. Uh, slight dig again. But, um, yeah, I, I think that the, the Giants are in a good position here. We just got to make some right moves. Let me know what you guys think. A pretty short video. I was going to discuss, like, backup quarterbacks. Just a brief little topic. Backup quarterback, Matt Moore. There's a story that came out. That would be kind of interesting. Also be interested in Jacoby Brissett. Um, signing him to a one-year deal. Maybe another team would want to trade for him midseason. But he could tease Daniel Jones a little bit with Juan Saplinski. But I think he ultimately stays with Indianapolis Colts. That's what I said in my last video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about the, the topics that we discussed in this video. What do you guys think the Giants are going to be doing in the draft? Again, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.